This is Doug Varnberg and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks and today we're out here on beautiful Table Rock Lake. It's the eve before Christmas Eve. Um, it's been a little chilly today but what we're going to do is we're going to vertical fish. We're going to teach you how to set your unit up to catch fish vertically, basically sonar fishing to catch fish. Uh, we're running the Helix Gen 3. Um, going to show you how to catch how to set it up, how to recognize, how to put your bait in the cone angle. Okay, we're up here with the graph. I'm, I'm using one for mapping. I'm using my Solix for mapping. We're fishing this brake line here. And we're out here 115 foot. And there's actually a fish right there that moved. There's a couple showing up right there. I'm going to show you what I do for vertical fishing. The best thing to do, because uh, these are this is all standing timber down here, so I'm going to set my lower range uh, to basically increase the amount of viewing area I've got. Whoop, we've got way up there now. We're going to set it at 120. Uh, the tops of the trees are in about 60 foot there. Um, what I do is I crank up my sensitivity and look how it makes those fish. You can see them fish moving around right there. And... The only other thing, we're going to go master menu, display spectrum, I'm doing full spectrum here. Um, the other thing is switch fire in the max mode. That opens it up and makes it uh, more unfiltered data so you got uh, a better chance to see everything down there. The next thing is uh, we're going to try to hunt around here and find us a fish. Find us at school again and uh, jump on them and try to catch a couple out of it. You don't want to worry about over here. You want to focus on this right hand edge here because that is your most current data. The biggest thing is getting your bait in the cone area and you'll see it coming down there on the right hand side right here. You see that's our bait coming down. And we got a little activity. You can see all that stuff right on top of it. May need to tweak the sensitivity down just a smidgen. We really don't have anybody coming to take a look. Now look at that wad. That's probably bait fish right there. But we're going to check it out and see if we got anybody home with it. Now that time my uh, bait started falling out of the cone angle it's coming down right there there's a fish down below it there we're gonna drop through the bait right down on top of that and it left look right down there we're gonna see if we can catch one out of that I want to just drop the sensitivity one little notch that nice red hard that red color really helps me see where those fish are there's a bait coming down we're at 30 foot we're coming down got a little too much on the trolling motor it's a little tough with the wind got some activity around there look at that see those fish moving around that's that spaghetti effect now just get on there fish yep, I've got, got twisted up I can feel my uh, spoon got caught on the line drop her back down see if we can get one of them Got them a little excited there. Got them moving around. There's a bait coming down, 30 foot. Boom. Let's see if we can get that one to fire up. Nope. Just go on down. I can see them fish move back down in the tops of the trees. Now that's what we're looking for right there. Drop this spoon down. 
see it coming down. Come on. Get down there. Come on, bite this for these people. These good folks watching this video. Video game fishing. Get the wind to cooperate here, man. It's blowing a little bit today. We got a couple fish down there right at about 40 to 50 foot there. You can see the bait coming down. Bam, we're on them. Got another one down there about 70. And we got one coming down right there. We got them all over. on get on that you can see see how that line got red on me means my bait and my fish are right there close to each other we just got to get them to bite now you just start watching for the like there okay now we're going to try these got one to move up a little bit there got another one coming up from the bottom got one following there Chasing them off. Coming down at it. See them right there suspended to about 50. We've got one coming up. Got some action going on. Let's see if we can get one here. Checking it out. Checking it twice, trying to see who's naughty and who's nice. Like Santa Bass. It's almost Christmas here. Guess I've been on the naughty list. Going down, we got oh, may have multiples there. Went down in the tree there. Big spot there. 
I'll show you what they are. You want to see what's down there? That's what's down there right there. Spotted bass. Right here, he ate it right there. Right here is where we were jigging it. He ate it right there and we brought it up. We pulled that other fish up with it. It's not a giant, but man, it's fun. Vertical fishing. Right there, you can see it on the screen. There he is. Send him back and see if we can catch us another one. Dropping it down. Look at that. We got some skeddy going on there. Got a little action at about uh, 50. Got one on. Got one on. Got one coming up. Got an got one coming up over here. Right there. Kentucky spotted bass on Table Rock Lake. You can see right here where we're jigging, caught them, brought them up. I love catching these things and love catching them deep, man. It's a lot of fun.